Hey folks, this is Eric Oliveros from the QNAP team here at our booth at CES 2022. I'm here to show you one of our highlight items that we're showcasing this year at CES 2022. This is our TS-464 T4. Uh, for those familiar with uh, our QNAP Thunderbolt series, we have our, Q our Thunderbolt 3 series, which are industry first uh, lineup of Thunderbolt NAS. Now we have um, the new standard of connectivity is Thunderbolt T, uh, Thunderbolt 4. So we have our TS-464 T4. What makes this NAS uh, unique is we have a couple of Thunderbolt uh, 4 ports in the front. We have a 10 gig port in the back. So it's great for a collaborative workflow. You can connect um, the high speed. Uh, you can do high speed data transfer through Thunderbolt or through 10 gig. We have four three and a half inch SATA drives in the front. We got uh, two uh, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD slots as well. So that's great for caching or for uh, Q-tier, which we have our, our tiering technology. And um, this is, again, great for collaborative workflows, uh, for video editing. You have multiple users that can connect and upload and download data and uh, do your video editing on there. So this is, again, our TS-464 T4 industry first here. We're showcasing it for the first time here at CES 2022. For more updates, please check us out on our social media platforms and uh, we'll uh, just follow us and uh, we'll have more updates soon. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Dova. I'm the product manager here at QNAP, and this is a continuing coverage of a CES 2022. The next product I'm going to introduce today is our new desktop U.2 form factor all flash NAS device. It's a TSH1290FX. It's a 12-bay U.2 NVMe all-flash NAS device, okay? It supports up to 12 bays of NVMe drives. To unplug a bay, you just push this tab and pull out the base, and you can install the SSD, screw them in, and plug them back into the NAS. Uh, it's a hard-swappable design, so you can, if you want to replace a drive, you can always just unplug the drive, uh, install a new drive, and just plug that back into the NAS, and uh, you can, and the drive will be recognized. It comes with AMD EPIC uh, processor with up to 16 or 8 core configuration. It also has up to one terabyte of uh, DDR4 RAM. So a lot of RAM that you can install on the NAS. And it supports QTS Hero, which is, supports inline deduplication, inline compression to give you um, a high speed uh, performance out of your NAS as well. This is designed for applications for extreme high speed or low latency applications such as 6K, 8K video editors who want to have multiple video editors or collaborative projects going with their NAS. Another application I can think of is machine learning. Another application is uh, multiple VMs that you want to run. Again, it has an eight, core, eight or 16 core, con core configuration. So you can run multiple VMs off of the NAS as well. So those are great applications that you can run on the NAS. And I'm going to look, um, let's look at the back of the NAS. So on the back of the NAS, it comes with two SFP28 ports, which supports up to 25 gigabits per second. And you can, you can port trunk them together or combine them to give you 50 gigabits per second out of the NAS as well. So you can have multiple people connected to the NAS without having to uh, worry about performance. And also it, it uh, comes with two 2.5 gigabit ports as well. Uh, that uh, uh, RJ45 configuration. So you can also combine them to get five gigabits per second connection. And also has four PCIe slots, PCIe Gen 4 slots. So you can actually connect QM2 cards for caching or for tiering. Also, you can also con uh, install GPUs. You can also install additional network cards if you like to on the NAS as well. So that's our TSH 12, 1290FX. And with that, I also want to introduce our new adapter, which is QDA UMP4 adapter, which is also a, a PCIe Gen 4x4 adapter. Now, this is designed to have, it's a U.2 form factor, but it can install M.2s in them. So you can in install M.2 2280 form factor NVMe SSDs inside the NAS, also inside this adapter. And uh, it also has an alum aluminum design to for heat dissipation, so it does not get hot when you're ex under extreme loads as well. You can install this um, M.2, close the uh, cover, and you can install this inside the drive base of the NAS. So you can actually have uh, M.2 form factor inside the NAS uh, instead of using U.2 form factor as well. And this UD adapter is also supported on computers as well. So if you have a computer or workstation or Windows or Linux workstation that you want to install 
this U.2 adapter, U.2 form factor, you can also install that into that as well. Right? So that is our two new devices that we would like to that I would like to talk about today. And please stay please stay tuned for further videos as well. Thank you.